is friction and dynamic friction. Dynamic friction is a friction that is acting on an object while the object is at its motion state, so it's moving. And so this friction is going to cause our object to decelerate and eventually come to a stop. So we know that the friction force is given by this equation right over here. Here the coefficient of dynamic friction multiplied by the reaction force. And it's given that our dynamic friction right over here is going to be mu. Our reaction force is simply the force that is being exerted on our block. For instance, when our block is right over here, the block has its own weight, which is mg, and the reaction force is simply the same force that is reacting in the opposite direction, so that will be mg as well. And so we have mg as our reaction force. Our friction force is acting on the opposite direction, it's acting on the negative direction. So we'll take this direction negative and we'll take this direction positive. So here, we're just going to put minus sign. According to Newton's second law, we can say that this all equals to ma, where a is the acceleration. The acceleration is minus mu g. Let's go ahead and use the kinematics equation given by v square is equal to u square plus 2as, where a is the acceleration, s is the distance traveled. We know that v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity. The final velocity at here, it will be zero since our object will come to a stop. So this can be gone to a zero. The u here is the initial velocity, which is the velocity right over here, and so, which is this velocity. And so we can say that zero is equal to u squared, which is gonna be 2gh plus 2as. This is our acceleration right over here, and so it's gonna be minus 2 mu g s. Two g's cancel out, and so h is left by mu s, which is option D. If you'd like me to solve a problem from a topic that you struggle with, leave it down in the comments below, and next video, I'll solve your problem.